Aileen Doyle here. I feel like it's been a while. You better grab this spring light while it's still shining. I'm bringing you a free reading. Welcome everybody, all is welcome to Super Soul Skills. How are you doing? <clears throat> Calling in your angel guides, your angel team. Always ensuring that as we pray, we are connecting with the prime creator of all that is, the original source creator. Placing your energy into these cards. I shuffle these cards on behalf of my watcher. Those who are following my channel, who have subscribed, this is for you. a deep breath and connecting with spirit okay let's see what we have here okay <clears throat> hmm. okay we're going to shuffle some of these as well place your energy into the cards i shuffle these on behalf of my subscribers, Super Soul Skills on Telegram, Super Soul Skills on YouTube. You know who you are. Sending you all spring blessings. So much love. We are connecting with the spring light. So we are getting a spring back in our step. We're spring cleaning. We're shaking off the cobwebs of winter. Okay. Hmm. All right. Big focus on health here for some of you. I'm getting some lower back pain. Some of you feeling some lower back pain, some stress there, like you're carrying something in your lower back or I can feel that tension there. So just to be aware of that, you might need to get some physio or you might need to get a healing session and get to the emotional root of why you have some pain or tension there. So yeah. So those of you who've been struggling with health issues, the sun is here to shine upon you. The sun is coming back into your energy field. And you know, we are descendants of the sun. We are solar beings. If you think about the word soul, solar, sol, sun, you can look back into history and see that, you know, I sent my only son. And there's lots of plays on words with spiritual paradox and spiritual truth. So we are solar beings the christ light the christ consciousness is of the sun so the sun is about to shine upon you so if you've been struggling with health issues i know myself i have had a run of it with ascension symptoms my vertigo came back i have been i've had to go to hospital i've had my doctor literally put me on two weeks bed rest it was, I mean, for the doctor to do that, yeah, it's been mad. And I, I've got two more appointments next week. I need to get bloods done and things like that. So you may have felt my energy retreat recently. And that was because I needed to get back to myself and I needed to really go inward and expand the aura and just build that chi, build up the prana again. When you're giving a lot and you're in a teacher role, you're in a healer role, there's a big exchange of energy going on. And if you're doing that every day, seven days a week, or you know, even doing it regularly on a weekly basis, you have to mind your chi. Now I do feel for those of us who are really on the front line, especially through the pandemic and everything, 
there's probably we're feeling the brunt of that in the last few weeks because things are starting to balance out now and it's like we can actually take a breath so you may have had to pull back yourself and have some retreat you might have had had to take some time off but that's okay because as I said there is a shift happening in your health and you're going to find some relief moving forward so look healthy lifestyle okay Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. So you're being asked to put your health first. Now, prioritize Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So Metatron is showing up here. Okay, so what are your priorities right now? What do you need to focus on? Where do you need to be channeling your energy? Everything else that's excess, that's not necessary in this present moment, your guides are saying, just disperse, let it go. Focus on what's actually really, really important for you right now. Okay. Then we have beloved one, Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. <laughs> I love those cards. They're just so pretty. So some of you have been asking for assistance in connecting with your soulmate, with your significant other. And Chamuel is assuring you that this is being worked on. Now, what I will say for this month of March 2022 is expect the unexpected okay so for some of you you think you have it all figured out and you think that this is all the information you have you've spent the last year exploring and trying to organize and move a certain project or situation or relationship forward and you think that that's all there is to it well expect the unexpected in the next few weeks because that's what my angels have been saying to share that there are going to be some unexpected revelations or surprises information coming up or somebody is going to share something with you that may cause you to refocus and reroute shall we say you may be taking a different turn that you didn't expect to take in your life and i feel it's very positive i feel it's it's divinely timed and the pieces of the puzzle that had to fall into place have, have done so. So you're you're able to reroute safely when you get this information or this thing is revealed to you, okay? Now. Hello from heaven. Okay. When this shows up, it means that there's somebody who was in your human physical life who has transitioned who is literally waving hello and saying, hi, how are you? I'm aware of you. I understand you've been going through some things. I am part of helping you to heal and transcend those obstacles. So Archangel Azrael is giving this message. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So they are doing fine. Those who have transitioned and gone into the light we need not worry about them. Believe me, they're, they're, they're in a really good place. And it's not even a place, but they've, they've gone home. I look forward to it myself. I've been shown samples of it, so I'm not one bit worried. And when somebody does transition, my grief is for myself because I miss them here. And when we grieve somebody, it's often subconsciously that we're grieving that part of ourself, that part of our life that was attached and connected to that person. 
it's not that that person is lost or disappeared or misplaced. No, not at all, not at all. In fact, grief can often cause us to feel misplaced. But it's just that the love is so powerful and overwhelming when we're grieving and when we're missing somebody and the love has nowhere to go, even though it is going, it is going to God, it is going to source, it is going to that soul energy. But oftentimes as physical beings, we feel it has nowhere to go. And that's not true, but that's the illusion of, of grief. Now, counsellor. I love this, this uh, image. You can see the light being behind the person, giving them strength. So this is you. You are a natural counsellor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So I'd say if you're part of the subscription to this channel, you're definitely a natural counsellor because you're an empath and you're sensitive and you know what to say and you know when to say it. What I would say is oftentimes the less said, the more powerful, but, but actually hitting the point, getting to the seed of the wisdom of what you're sharing can be very powerful. Okay, spiritual understanding. Some of you are working with geometric sacred shapes. That's really powerful. If you don't know about your Merkaba, I suggest you do some study on that. That would be a whole video unto itself. I can do that if you like. Let me know in the comments. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. So we have the flower of life there. And the Merkaba is a space. It's like an interdimensional vehicle for for our etheric body and we can use it to travel to different dimensions and we can use it to heal and if I'm clearing out my energy field I'll often spin the Merkaba up and down through my chakras and it picks up debris and it's it's a very clearing and cleansing vehicle and it's a great tool to understand and be able to use. And that brings us to teaching and learning, okay? Zadkiel, Archangel Zadkiel says, keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. So some of you are learning lots of new spiritual things and you are, maybe not even spiritual, maybe very practical things. Maybe you're studying stuff that it's important for you to share those ideas and to be the natural counselor or teacher that you are, okay? You know what to do. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So if there's something that you're delaying and you know it's the truth and it's the right thing to do, stop dilly dallying and take the action because divine order is at play. We have divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see, see underlying order. So when we're going through a time of chaos, creative chaos or change, and I do feel that March 22 is a time of like change of hands or change of management. That's kind of how the angels are saying it with, with a, uh, a smile on their face and a sparkle in their eye. There will be a change over, okay? So that's part of the expect the unexpected. You might find that there's some kind of change of power or shift in who you are dealing with in your life. And it could be in your job or it could be your marriage. It could be many different things for different people. This is a general reading. But understand and accept that divine order is at play. So divine order, the universal divine order of things, providence, is, is in control and sometimes we just have to have faith and that's that's the price we pay to have a divinely ordered life the price the cost of it that is your focus your faith and your trust and you're always putting faith in something because you wouldn't be having a physical experience so you have faith that you're in this body that your hair is this color that your house is, is in this part of the country, 
that the sun is rising and the sky is blue. You're putting faith in those things super consciously all the time. So it's a matter of choosing where you funnel that faith and trusting that there is divine order at play. Relationship harmony. We have Archangel Raguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So if you're having a bit of a barney with loved ones or family members, this is a card to say, chill out, relationship harmony is, is, is assured and that the hearts of everybody are being cleansed and, and purified so that only love is being exchanged, okay? So let's just have a look at the tarot here. Some of you experienced a disappointment recently. So you can see that the, the cups in the background are spilled. And there's two other cups, but it's like, you're like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm not even bothered. I'm disappointed. This is not what I signed up for. And this is not what I expected. So there was something that happened that just left you feeling disheartened and discouraged. But don't worry, because like I said, the sun is about to shine on that situation and to lighten the load. And you can see as well, the couple are very connected here. They're, they're communicating, they're on the same page, they're, they're very engaging with each other. So things will be cleared, okay? Um, from that you have the Ten of Wands, oppression but perseverance. So some of you, that could be why you have that sore back. You're carrying a lot of heavy load there. But it's a card that says you're feeling oppressed, you're feeling tired. It's, you, you've been carrying this heavy load up the mountain, but you're almost there. You may as well just take the last few steps because your perseverance is about to pay off. With that, you have stand your ground. And if you are on my Telegram private group, you hopefully got to listen to a channeled message I did recently all about standing your ground and having the courage of your convictions and knowing when it's time to walk away from something or being able to express your need to have a boundary with someone or, or situation. So it's very important we enforce boundaries and stand our ground, especially with people who will abuse that. So that's a message for somebody. Then we have the Page of Cups. This is a time of birth. It's, it's conception. It can be the conception of a project or idea or a new career or a business. It can also be a baby. It can be the conception of a soul coming into physical time space. It also says trust. So again, what are you putting your faith and trust in? Because we're all putting it in something. Okay. Four of Wands. Lovely, lovely card. It's all about socialising, get-togethers, engagements, weddings, births, celebrations, barbecues, parties, all the good stuff. So spring is coming for those of us on this side of the world. But also many places are easing on the restrictions. So we're actually getting to have some fun again. We're getting to connect with people, which is great. And then um, the 10 of pentacles, okay. So this is an influx of resources. Your ship's coming in, it's, a gain of some kind, it's increase. Some of you may have experienced a loss, but there's some inheritance that's coming after that that is unexpected, but it's it's needed and welcomed. It might be inheriting a home, inheriting land, or it also might be money as well, okay? All right. The nine of wands facing a challenge. 
So there's a sense of being fenced in, of being under the illusion that you're stuck in something, but that's simply not true. And as you can see, this guy is free to walk away from the ones around him. So you're being reminded that you are the authority, you are a sovereign being in your life and you get to decide where you stay and where you go. Then we have the star. And the star is all about falling in love with yourself, falling in love with life. It's a renewed confidence. It's the star is shining down upon you. You're connected, you're feeling good. Okay, it's a lovely ending to that spread. Let's have a quick look at these. Really, really quickly. I don't want to waste your time or keep you keep you stalled in any way. So these videos are always way longer than I tell them to be. It's just once I get chatting to the angels on your behalf, the messages flow in and I like to pass them on. All right, be gentle with yourself. Gorgeous image. Be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love and everything I think, speak and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. I feel that compassion is needed as we expect the unexpected moving forward with March. Okay, spend time outdoors, get out into nature. Then we're being reminded you created this situation and you have the power to change it. Taking back our sovereignty, taking back our authority over our lives. Explore your options. You don't have to stay where you are if it's not feeling right or feeling good. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness and life's purpose. So the ball is in your court, I'm hearing, okay? You can honour and trust your feelings. Your feelings are true. You can trust them. And God is in charge. God is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So if you're struggling with something, if there's something on your mind that has been bothering you, lean on God and the angels and trust that God is in charge and God will resolve this for you. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. It's a gift from me. Happy spring or happy day, happy night, wherever you are. We claim these blessings in the name of the prime creator of all that is. You can give this video a thumbs up if you feel inspired. Take care. Bye bye.